Well, you guys got another video here for you on how to find and transfer Windows product license keys from your computer. Now, if you've purchased a physical copy of Windows, the product key should be on the label or the card inside of that box that come with Windows. But if you've purchased a pre-built system like an OEM system, then this will not be transferable. So you will see here on this Windows system activation page, this is a digital license. So you cannot transfer the OEM key to another computer. It's actually locked and tied into the computer that you've got. Now, if you're looking for cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM keys, check out today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. You can purchase one of your keys from over here. Use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases. These OEM keys are a one-time activation and once it's activated, it will be for the lifetime of that computer. Once they send you your key, you'll be able to activate your version of Windows like this. But if you've got a retailed license or you've got a transferable uh, key that you want to retransfer to a new computer, you can use Show Key Plus. It's a free tool to download and once you download it and open it it's going to scan your system and it's going to retrieve uh, the actual key that you have on that system so once this window opens you will see the product id and the installed key on that system if it's a retail key you can then retrieve the key and save that key information so you can then transfer it to a new uh, computer you will need to deactivate that key first and i'll show you how to do that in this video also now if there's a little star against it it's a default key and it requires a digital license uh, for activation this is generally an oem key and you can pick these up pretty cheap nowadays and these keys are generally what are activated on a lot of systems especially on dell and hp and a lot of these other systems these are generally oem keys but if it's a retail key it will tell you and this little program has a check edition as well, which allows you to check the edition of your key to see whether it's actually a retail key. If it is, you can install that on one system at a time and transfer it from PC to PC. Now, what you can do is save the information here as well, which is what I've just done here. Now I'm going to type CMD in the search box and open up command prompt as administrator. And we're going to type this command out right here, as you see on the screen. This is slmgr.vbs space forward slash dlv. Once you push enter, this is going to retrieve all the information about your key. If it says retail key here, you'll be able to use that key on another system. You will need to deactivate the key first before you transfer it over to a new computer. Now, if you're seeing volume key or a Mac key, then basically that's another issue right there. That is not a transferable key and it's not a legit key that you're using unless it's from a business environment. But that's for another video. What we're going to do here now is deactivate and uninstall uh, our key. And we can do that by typing slmgr.vbs space forward slash upk. And what this is going to do is it's going to uninstall our key for us and then that means it will deactivate the system when we reboot our pc it will be deactivated and you can see here uninstall product key was successful that's now gone and now we can use that key which we saved earlier to a document and take it over to our new computer and reactivate it and that way you're only activating that key on one computer at one time you can't have it on multiple computers at any one time unless it's a volume key from a business that you're taking home to work from home on a computer, then that key will activate because it's a, a volume key or a Mac key from that company. So we're going to copy our license key that we backed up earlier. And what we're going to do here is type out this next command to install our key on our new computer. So what we're going to do here is type out this command right here. So it's going to be SLMGR. You can push the up arrow key if it's on the same machine. So it'll be slmgr.vbs space forward slash IPK and then the space product key and it will then install that product key and click OK and that key will then be installed on the system and it will then be able to be activated on that computer. So let's go ahead and uh, click OK here and we can then check the status of our activation on this computer to see 
whether it's still activated. Now, of course, when you uninstall a key and you reboot the computer, it will be deactivated on that PC and you will need to restart the system. So let's go into system here and come down to where it says activation here. This is another place where you can change the key. You can see it's active here, but if you wanted to put in a different product key or change your key or insert a key, you can go to this location here, click change key, and put in the product key that you've purchased here. Maybe you're going from Windows Home Edition to a Pro Edition. You would type in the key that you've purchased inside here, click next, and it will go through the activation on that PC and it will activate your version of Windows via that method. Or you can do it via uh, the command prompt. This is the much easier preferred method for a lot of people. And that's pretty much it. That's basically how you can transfer a retail key over to a new computer or if you've got a key that is transferable that's how you can do it on windows 11 and windows 10 and other versions of windows my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members i really do appreciate the support and i shall catch you in the very next video thanks again for watching bye for now